Um, I'll come back to place four for um, NOISD. So we have seen a lot of gun violence in schools uh, recently, right? Uh, so in plan O, what are the measures that you plan to take to ensure the safety of our children? So this is place four. Thank you. First of all, before I go and say, well, I'm going to fix this, I need to find out exactly what is in place now. What I believe should be in place is a workable system that for the school works with law enforcement and be consistent with whatever that is as far as protecting our children is concerned and don't vary from it from one campus to the other. Uh, that we should be consistent, we should work it out with law enforcement, and also when there are incidences somewhere else, we should make sure that our children have the mental health support that they need because it is very taxing on them now. My child went to P uh, PISD and there was only one incident which was in another state. Now you hear it all the time. So that's grating on their little brains and they need some help with that even when it doesn't happen here. Thank you. I think the biggest problem that we're having is with drugs in the schools. Uh, I don't mean fentanyl drugs, I mean the drug called pornography. That's an addictive drug that destroys the brain and I think that it needs to be removed so that we have children that cannot access this reading material until they're age appropriate. So inshallah, I will work to do that. I have not gun gun violence though, but... I served on the Illinois ISD Safety and Security Committee and I was super excited in the bond. We came back and we put an additional 40 million into, sa into safety and security. So we have money that's there for us to utilize as a district for extra things. Like if we were to go to the pods that are in the elementary campuses, if you just envision walking down a second grade hallway and you see all the different rooms, some of them don't have doors, but that's gonna cost us money. It's gonna take a lot of time. We don't have construction materials. That's what that 40 million will go to is extra enhancements within our campuses to keep our kids safe. There were extra measures already put in the bond, but there are things that you could do in the audience today. You could reach out to your legislators and tell them that you want them to add a safety and security allotment, which means that every student would get an additional amount of funding on that basic allotment so that they could get, um, so that more safety and security dollars come into Plano ISD for us to utilize to keep our kids safe. Thank you. So we have uh, 